a team with riches in historical terms. There's no argument. They have in their time had it all. The glitterati on the pitch, money in the bank. Every trophy that's been worth having has appeared in their cabinet, apart from this one. No Champions League. The UEFA Cup provides the glamour and a welcome escape from the league where they've lost their opening two games. The worst start for 22 years. Jan Kalowski was in there. Ambrosini is in there. Plenty of opening possession for Milan on the home turf. Ancelotti, of course, under major, major pressures. Well, Zurich, of much history of competition in Europe as well. 2008 is their 22nd year of European competition. It looked only a matter of time, though, here, before the opening goal would go in. Shevchenko beginning to get the look back now, isn't he? Shevchenko, of the type of player that he was until Chelsea sucked all the life out of him. Maldini on the bench tonight. Three changes for Milan to the side from the weekend. Shevchenko in again. Just a little fine-tuning, he feels, is needed before the goals start to come. But the faithful inside this stadium still very happy to see him back. At the other end, there were dangers. That there, Stahil's goal was disallowed. It was an offside decision. Made the semi-finals of the European Cup back in the mists of time when they uh, first came into European competition. It was back in the 60s when they succumbed to Madrid. They've been to Italy on one occasion. Pirlo's the other absentee tonight. Um, they were narrowly beaten by Roma 3-2 on aggregate. So they were holding their own right until half-time. Now, this looked like the goal until that. And then it was followed up with this and the deflection right through the keeper's legs. Milan needed a touch of luck. Finally, they got it. And Jankolaski can do a bit of celebrating. He is going to claim the goal. His first in a Milan shirt since the 31st of August of 2007 he scored in a 3-1 win against Sevilla in the Champions League what a nightmare so it was a struggle in the first half they enjoyed all of the possession into the second half and Brasini really should have done better with that And then from here, the goal would be made at the other end. It was Alphonse who let that just skim off the top of his head onto the post. He collected it immediately down at the other end. Milan, this classic counter-attacking style of days gone by, but plenty of shirts filtered back behind the ball, but the free kick was then given away. And then just sit back and enjoy what is about to come. 19-year-old Brazilian, Pato. Absolutely unstoppable. First ever goal in European competition for him. And one that he will never forget. Eased some of the growing tensions on the terraces. And it was becoming apparent that there was tension inside this stadium. Just coming up to the hour mark and just one goal scored against Zurich. They'd wanted better than that. But in reality, they were absolutely dominant in terms of possession. Seedorf breaking into a trot. And then... What about that? Borriello had only been on the field for about six minutes before he struck that. He's a player they're going to get used to seeing a bit more of. He was in great form for Genoa last season, where he banged in 19 goals. They're hoping he's brought a bit of that with him. He's in his third spell with Milan. And then what about that, though, for a goal from Juric, who's got Zurich at least a bit of interest for the replay. Scored in the 7-1 victory over Vaduz at the weekend. And a player who's picked up half a dozen cats of the Swedish national team. And he's a player that you're going to be hearing a bit more of in the next few seasons. Well, Milan press forward looking for a fourth goal to effectively really kill this tie-off. And... They still have possession. Seedorf from Jankolevsky's cross. And it was saved in the end. Three goals to one. That would be the final score here. And some of the pressure for the moment, although it won't be long. They might not have won the UEFA Cup.
And there's a bit of an outpouring of relief there. You can see what it means to the Milanese players. They've won by three goals to one. Finally, the season's off and running.